In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, a warm welcome to the 11th day of the Ignatian Retreat. Today is the second day in the second week. And today, at the outset, I would like to introduce you three phases in prayer. This is not only for this retreat, but for the lifelong, it is a useful method that I am going to introduce to you. During the retreat, you are encouraged to follow these three phases in your meditation or in your contemplation. The first phase, preparation, that is before prayer. And I presume that each one of us, you and me, pray in the morning. The morning hours are sacred for us. So therefore, on the previous day, the last thought of the day, if you are going to pray in the morning, then before going to bed on the previous day, Kindly go through the passage or the subject matter to be prayed over. Stay with one word or phrase. Repeat it as you go to bed and let God be the last thought of your day. While getting up from sleep, early morning, call to mind again the matter of prayer. Continue to repeat that one word or phrase and begin to relish it. Let God be the first thought of your day. Just before entering into prayer, think about what you are about to do. And ask yourself, where am I going and why? Before whom am I going to appear? Bring yourself to a disposition of deep reverence. So this is the first phase. And the second phase, prayer itself. In prayer, the first point that we have to be noting is the posture. Take a comfortable sitting posture. Don't change your posture constantly. Suppose a mosquito bites, what would be your response? Normally our instinct is to just hit the mosquito. But here I would say enjoy the pain. Do not get distracted, just focus on the point where you get pain and as you focus, you just get out of the pain. The pain slowly vanishes. Enjoy the pain and get deeper into the focus. Then you recite your introductory prayer. And followed by grace. You ask earnestly for the particular grace that you long for during that particular hour. Then as a next step, read the passage again during the meditation or contemplation. After reading the gospel passage or any of the scripture passage that you have selected, if it is for the contemplation, be part of the passage. Imagine the particular mystery is taking place here and now. You be part of the scene and you have a role to play in the scene. Identify yourself with any of the characters in the passage 
or you be an observer or you create a new character in the passage. For example, the prodigal son. If you contemplate on the prodigal son, you can be the prodigal son, you can be the elder one, you can be the father, or even you can be a servant over there. So be part of the passage, be part of one of the characters and experience the scene. As you are contemplating on the particular subject or the event and as a next step Listen to your interior movements. When you take a role, when you observe, when you experience, you get a feeling. Your spirit moves. Observe what is going on within you. In your thought level, in your feeling level and in your desires. Is it a consolation that is interiorly, do you feel happy? Or is it a desolation? Do you feel darkness? Do you feel sorrow? Do you feel sadness? My dear friends, did you experience any block or resistance? Or did you remember any of your past experience? After having observed so much, be with the Lord. This is an intense moment of your prayer. Share with the Lord what you are going through at this moment. Listen to Him. And what is He telling you? What is your response? It is a moment when God looks at me and I look at God. It is a prayer of the heart. You become what you contemplate. And finally, the prayer of thanksgiving. Conclude the prayer by thanking the Trinity or Saint Joseph or Mother Mary. And then finally, with an Our Father or Hail Mary, you conclude the prayer. This is the second phase of the prayer. And now we move on to the third phase. This is after the prayer. Immediately after the prayer. It is called review. After the prayer, you make a review of your prayer experience by asking yourself, what happened to me during my prayer? How did God deal with me? And how did I respond? When you ask these questions, certain answers will pop up. Write down the core experience of the hour like an answer for these questions. Perhaps at the end of the day, if possible, you could share your review during this, uh, what you call, during this um, uh, days of retreat. You could share your experience that is the review with your friends or family members or uh, uh, in your community, your community members. So that would help you uh, to keep up the pace during this retreat. Review of prayer is as important as the time spent in prayer. You should not think that it is less important. It is equally important like the prayer hour. Review is a time to discern the working of the Holy Spirit during the prayer hour. Stay attuned the divine amidst your daily responsibilities by repeating the mantra. And during the prayer hour, the quality of silence that you maintain before prayer, during prayer and even after the prayer 
that shows the quality of your prayer. My dear sisters and brothers, this is all about the three methods in prayer. And now, let us enter into the contemplation direct. Yesterday we rejoiced with Mary in her saying yes to the Lord. And today we begin to walk with Jesus. His birth, his hidden life and public ministry are the subjects for our contemplation today. In our contemplation, we deal with the nativity of our Lord. As usual, we begin with the introductory prayer. As St. Ignatius would pray, I ask God our Lord for the grace that all my intentions and actions and operations may be ordered purely to the service and praise to the Divine Majesty. Then we pray for the grace. I pray for the grace to know Jesus more intimately, to love him more intensely, and to follow him more closely. My dear sisters and brothers, this is the particular grace we often or frequently asked in the second week. Once again, I pray for the grace to know Jesus more intimately, to love him more intensely, and to follow him more closely. For today's contemplation, we choose the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2, verses from 1 to 7. We are going to imagine the details of the scene. Take time to imagination, to be present to this glorious scene. Imagine the thoughts of St. Joseph when he first realized he had to travel to Bethlehem with Mary, his betrothed. God had spoken to him in a dream about this child and this child was miraculously conceived. There was confusion surrounding her pregnancy and how they were traveling by donkey as she was about to give birth. Prayerfully read and contemplate the scripture passage. They are traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem on a donkey. Mary sits on the donkey. They travel the rugged path. Listen to the silence in the village and the sounds of the town. Feel the cold. Sense the concern of Saint Joseph for Mary and the child in her. Smell the animals. Consider the fact that the other residents and visitors in the contemplation, you are also part. You decide. Who shall you be? You can be an observer. You can be a friend of Joseph. Even you can be the child of Joseph and Mary. Consider their journey towards the inn at Bethlehem and the rejection they had to face. Observe the interior movements of Joseph and Mary. And again, imagine the entrance to the cave. The cave in Bethlehem. It is quite narrow. In order to enter into the cave, we have to bend down and you go inside. 
just look around the interior of the cave where Mary and Joseph settle down to give birth to their first born. You are also there helping them out. The ox and the ass are in the first row. They provide some warmth that penetrates into the inner part of the cave where Mary is giving birth to the child. I will make myself a poor, little and unworthy servant, gazing at them, contemplating them and serving them in their needs, just as if I were there with all possible respect and reverence. And finally, conclude the contemplation with a colloquy with Mary or Joseph or with God the Father or even by speaking to the baby Jesus while holding him. Or perhaps you may not just feel to talk to anybody. You just sit in the peaceful silence of the night beside the child. And finally, with an Our Father, end the contemplation. My dear sisters and brothers, this is all for the second day and I wish you a good time with the Holy Family. May God bless all of us. Thank you.